What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Symbol, where I take a little, where I stumble over my words and tell you if this character is worth getting or worth passing. Today we're having a look at the Colossus. Okay. <laughs> now that I possibly threw my throat out with that water. Today we'll, uh, let's go check out, oh god. Bear with me, Russian. Pyotr Rasputin, otherwise known as Colossus. Pyotr Rasputin's power to transform his body into a nearly invulnerable organic form of osmium first appeared in adolescence. Coming to America at the urging of Professor X, he became Colossus and has fought bravely despite his natural aversion to conflict and violence. Yeah. Uh, those stats are not right, thanks to the IS weights, but I think those are heavily outdated because I haven't used this outfit in forever. I haven't used his standard outfit in forever. Anyways, he is a bruiser and gets organic steel. He's immune to bleeding, burning, and shield, resistant to psychic attacks, and very high crit resistance. Also, he has polygonal, po polygonal like legs, which kind of looks weird. Look at that. Stare at his legs for just a second. And it looks like they're chiseled diamonds, not steel. Anyways. Oh, uh, let's get into his moveset. His first attack is Steel Fist, a one enemy unarmed melee that causes exposed. His second ability is the Steel Curtain, a self buff with a one round cooldown. It applies Steel Curtain for one round. Protects allies from single target attacks, takes reduced damage. Next is his probably strongest ability, which is Decimate, a one enemy unarmed melee that exploits exposure. It's a good thing he has a move that applies exposed. Next is the Colossal Smash, an all enemy ground attack. Ah, uh, ground attacks. You suck against flying enemies. Ground attack means it ignores most protect and avoidance effects and applies slowed. So obviously, he's meant to be kind of a tankish character, or not even a tank, but just a meat shield, as I would call it, as he doesn't counterattack as Captain America does, but he takes reduced damage from it. His Steel Fist and Decimate is an obvious combo meant to do together. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can talk about him. I think he was 35 command points, so he's a little bit higher in price. But for for a starter for a starter type meat shield, as I would say, or one of your first bruisers, he's definitely a good choice in the range. Seeing as how, let's see, uh, what did we have for bruisers? And let's see, we had the thing, Thor, who was 90 command points. Uh, she Hulk, who was uh, I think she was 16. You could get her. This so was a fight between Colossus and She Hulk, because all the other good ones costed 90 command points or sucked. The one that sucked was the thing. Anyways, so Colossus was always one of those first ones that I got. Well, I got She-Hulk first, but I didn't use her that much because she wasn't that great. Yeah. But yeah, so if you're looking for a lower level, if you're looking for a uh, lower... Uh, by the way, I'm keeping my references to the first heroes that came out, not the newer ones. Because... Well, they're all 90 command points, so it's like, well, there's no use looking over that. They're either 90 or 130, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to compare past that. That's that's why I didn't go further, in case anyone was about to type that. Anyways. So he's good for a starter uh, bruiser, and I would recommend him. I don't think there's much else to say. He's got pretty damn good damage with Decimate. Um, a combo I actually enjoyed using was comboing a Cyclops because I picked him as my free hero that I got and Colossus together because uh, Cyclops could cause flanked on an opponent where Colossus could decimate them and then steel fist them applying exposed again repeat the combo over and over again to kill them and if things got tough he could just use steel curtain to protect everyone and then finish everyone off with Colossal Smash. Or at least slow them to get their uh, evasion out of the way. So, he's definitely worth getting in my opinion. With that said and done, well, I guess there's nothing else to really talk about. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta.